Guys, in this video, I want to talk about how you can view photos on your iPad from an external hard drive. So it's actually very simple, but first you need to figure out your port situation. So you have some different connections on the iPad as well as on the external hard drive. So you need to know and you need to be able to connect them somehow. So for example, my iPad, this is the iPad Pro, so it is equipped with USB-C port. And this SSD is also equipped with the USB-C. So in this case, all I need is double-sided USB-C. It's a USB-C cable, you can connect it like this and also connect the, the other side to the iPad. I'm saying this because you may have an iPad which only has the lightning port and something similar maybe on the external drive. So you may be uh, having one with the USB-A or something. So just keep in mind that you need to have the right cables. And of course, there are many ways how you can view them, but I want to show you the best one in my opinion. So go to the app library or locate the files app. It's likely in the productivity section. So you can see files. It's from Apple. It's official app, which is from Apple. So it should be pre-installed on your iPad. You got to open it up. And here on the left side, you have the uh, recent shared locations and tags. So here in the location sections, if you don't have it open like this, tap on it to enlarge it. And you should see some different things. So you can see your iCloud drive, your iPad storage, Dropbox, some third party documents and stuff. And here you should be able to see the external hard drive. It should appear right there. If it doesn't for some reason, you can just unplug it and reconnect it one more time. So it should definitely just show up in a side this section. If for some reason it doesn't just work, you can just close the app and reopen it one more time and it should now be able to work properly. So now as you can see, uh, the another section just showed up in here. So this is the new one. This is the external hard drive. If you zoom it in like this, you can even see that it looks like an external drive. So you don't have any logo in there and it just looks like this. And now you, cl you can click on it and you can browse through it. So if you find an, uh, a file that you want to just view, you can just click on it and of course enlarge it. You can view it. This is how it works. You can actually browse through all of the apps. It's naturally very simple. So you can see all of the images, all the stuff that you want to see. So this is very easy. But let's say that you want to bring this photo over to your gallery. So you want to keep it on your iPad. So you have multiple options to do that. You can just save the photo to your gallery. So you open up a photo, click on the share button. And in here, you of course have all of the options to share it. So you can use any app that has it available or you can click on a save image and a save image option pretty much just stores it in your photos app. So if you leave the files app, you're going to be able to find it in the photos section. And now if I go to the photos, you can see that this in here is the photo that I just saved. So this is actually how it works. For the other option on how you can maintain or keep the photo there on your iPad, even if you unplug the external hard drive is by coming back to the files app and you can now use just the drag and drop feature. So just grab the file like this. You can see this is what it looks like. I have it on my finger. So I'm going to go like this and a tap on, on my iPad here on the left side. So tap on here and now you can just place it like this. You can see I already have them so I can keep both and I already have like three of the same photos because I showed you previously how you can use it. But this is how it works now. If I disconnect the external hard drive, I still get to keep all the files, which I of course connected and like pasted to my on my iPad folder. So this stuff just stays here. So this is how it works. I believe that there isn't anything else what I should show you. I mean, this is kind of basic, but for some new users, it may be a bit confusing and I totally understand it. So that's why I'm making this video. If it helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you checked out the rest of the channel and also subscribe to see videos like these all the time. And also check out the next one right here, which I think you're going to find very valuable. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.